Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to Small World, and thank you for joining me with today's video. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make realistic concrete from styrofoam. Like in my previous tutorials, I'll be using pink XPS foam. I start by defining the slabs of concrete in the curves of the sidewalk. I score a line down the middle of my foam, making each slab two and a half inches long. Then, I score a line for the curb, which is about a quarter inch thick, and gives me a piece that looks like this. Next, I widen the gaps using a mechanical pencil to make the score lines look more pronounced. Now, I'm going to add a broomed concrete texture to the surface using a wire brush. I start with the curb by running the wire brush along the length of the curb. I use a metal ruler to make sure that the lines I'm scoring are straight. With the curb finished, I mask it off with some masking tape because the concrete broom texture on the other slabs runs perpendicular to the curb, so I don't want those lines interfering with the curb. Again, I run the wire brush along my ruler in the direction I'm applying the texture to, and I continue this process over the entire surface. It's important to note that I'm applying almost no pressure when I run the wire brush along the foam. Too much pressure will cause the foam to tear and pill on the surface. I would recommend practicing on a scrap piece of foam first. Now we can remove the tape and look at our textured finish. I want the surface to be a bit more irregular, so I press a ball of aluminum foil into the foam, making a rougher texture. Don't overdo this step and make sure you leave some of the previous step visible. Here's the final result before painting. I base coat the piece using a coat of deck tan. I make sure to apply it thin and to not let any excess paint build up on the surface. This makes sure that we don't fill in our textures with paint. I also tend to paint the foam in the direction of the wire brush texture. Next, I apply a black wash over the entire surface which really brings out all the texture that we created earlier. Once dry, I add some variety by applying a second coat of the black wash to one of the slabs and then a lighter wash to the other slab using a mix of deck tan and buff. Before it dries, I blot the surface on a paper towel to make the wash more irregular. And here's the result after the washes. Then I add more variety to the surface using speckling. First with a coat of highly diluted white, and again with a coat of highly diluted black. Once dry, I very lightly sand the surface with some 240 grit sandpaper to simulate more wear and tear. Just make sure to apply very little pressure and don't go through the paint. This step almost acts as a highlight layer, bringing out some lighter tones under the weathering on the raised areas. And here's the final result. I hope that you learned something and that you found this video useful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Also a big thank you to my patrons. Thank you so much for all of your support. If you'd like to join them and support me on Patreon, I offer tons of exclusive content such as process pictures between videos, early access videos, and much more. Well anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Also, here are some bloopers. Because the concrete broom texture on the other slabs run per perpendicular. Next, I apply a black wash over the entire surface, which really brings out all the texture texture we created earlier.